everyone, Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and today's video we are going to charity shop and see it because let's see what goodies you can find and I am with Katie What's your username? UK Retro Collector Yeah, so don't forget to give her a follow on there A bunch of wrestling DVDs for Lisa, all a pound each. Checking my list. So all these are one pound each. Look at all these. All these fifty p, but I'm in Poundland and I picked up a I was picking up a few phones. This is for Lisa. It's called for a good time call. And then I'm getting this one as well. It's called Holy Rollers. And it's supposed to be like a gangster phone, it looks really good. And I'm getting a bottle of water. Katie, what are you getting? Might be getting Oh gosh. Nicholas Kane Vengeance. The Tay. Oh we bought that the other week. Idris. Idris Alba. And Liam Neeson's the community I love Liam Good movie. Lisa's favourite actor other than the Tom Hanks. Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Uh, over the Tom Hanks is all in for That's a good film. <laughs> if you like a good action film, that is an awesome movie. Can have a look at it. It's like four quid a C actually. Now. Any good? Alright. So they've got some other films like Love Bites. Same common films, but they have picked up two films as you would have seen, and they've got Episodes on DVD, 50p, with Matt the Blanket, and then Katie's looking at some films. So I'm in Parallel still, and I was just having a look at the board games. They've got a nice Pixar board game, game collection, with like Backgammon, Snakes and Ladders, Ludo, and it's only £5, which is a wild good price for anyone who likes this sort of stuff. Let's put my drink down so I can show you the rest. So that's it. Back. I think wild good price for, for any Pixar fan. I'd have this book, I already own the games individually. Also, they've got some um, Toy Story plushies, which I think is either five or nine quid because they're not exactly. Fun. They've got um, hundred one Dalmatians, and they've got a lovely Pluto. I said I do like this Toy Story four Teddy. It's really fluffy, and they do have for two pounds if you've got anyone who likes Incredibles. Um, a figure, and it includes like I think it's like a raccoon and like the main the child. Um, I haven't watched the new one, so they're called Jack. Jack and the Raccoon, that's a well good price of two quid because I've seen them at Smith's Toys for like ten pounds. They've also got a pop figure which I've never seen in Pound before. That is Frozen 2 Matthias. I didn't even know Pound had started selling them. They have some for the Jurassic World fans. I know this isn't exactly Jurassic World branded, but they have some dinosaur figures for a pound each. And they've got like a dinosaur fossil evacuation kit. I think it's really good. They also got some rip-off uh, Legos. It's good if you can't afford the Lego brands. So they've got like an outer space one, a superheroes, construction. Them are all a pound each. And they've got an emergency services one. They've got all these Lego plates as well. One hour later. So we are back now from Charmsley Wood. Unfortunately, we couldn't go to um, Coventry because it's too hot and we wanted to get back because the, Katie's back was hurting, weren't it? Yeah. So, Katie, we'll show you her item first. Go on, Katie, show them what you got. Um, the first one I've got is a Blu ray, which is a 101 film edition. Uh, I didn't know what, what these were for Michelle told me what they was. So, we've got a blunt force trauma. Apparently, it's, it's uh, quite. Is it rare or? Well, it's quite okay. violent, and 101 films are hard to get hold of yeah. around our areas. What she said. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how oh, do you about these films, but yeah. But if you'd like to see the rest, go join me on 
uh, TikTok or Instagram, UK Retro Collector, and I'll be able to show you the rest of what I've got. Okay, so the stuff that I got, as you would have seen in clips, I got quite a lot. The first lot I got from a charity shop. For some reason, I seem to pick loads of stuff up when Lisa's around, not around, but when she's around, she's like a bad jinx. I don't get nothing, do I, Lisa? Mm hmm. So the first one is, uh, right, all the ones for charity shop are all resting stuff. So the first one is a Brock Lesnar Here Comes the Pain Collector's Edition. It is a three disc box set. Uh, KG's not really a wrestling fan, are you? Not really. She likes the games because so I've beat Lisa with the Kendo <laughs> stick. <laughs> and the next one is Wrestling's Highest Flyers. All these was a pound each. As you would have seen in the video, they did have some other DVDs, which was 50p, but Lisa unfortunately owned them all because she's a hoarder. As you would say. The next one is Legends of Mid South Wrestling. Looks they're all three disc editions, so they're all good box sets. The most of them are like five quid each to see it. The next one is the Jerry Lawler Lawler, is that you say at least? Yeah. Story. That was one pound. And the next one is the story of Edge. You think you know me. Yeah, you think you know me a three disc set. And the last wrestling one is a CM Punk one, best in the world. He used to be my favourite wrestler at the time. And I still pick his character when I play the older games. And the next one we would have seen in a clip, I got two things from Poundland, other than a bottle of water, is for a good time call, so that was a pound, as all reducing uh, two quid. And the other one is Holy Rollers. It's meant to be a gangster movie. These are all for Lisa. I only had one thing for myself today. Um, the one thing for me, which I went to see it because I didn't get no clips of budget as it was quite busy in there, is Free State of Jones. It's meant to be about the Civil War and it does come with a nice slip cover. Um, the next one is a zombie film called Battle of the Damned. Dolph. L L L L How do you pronounce his name? Damned. Damned. Lundra. Continue. I know, let me find out. Find out. Hang on. Say his name. Dolph Lundgren, or however you pronounce it. Close enough for me. That was two quid. That was a zombie from these clips. And the last one is a Steven Seagal film called Driven to Kill. That is an eight, age eight, age rating 18. And it does look quite violent. It's for Lisa's collection. Um, so we hope you enjoyed today's video. It was only a short one, unfortunately. But Katie will be on future videos because she wants to come to Wolverhampton, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go to Wolverhampton. And we're going to take Katie to the HMVs to show us some good collections that we buy. And she knows we're going to make a skin. She wants to make buy four Ks now. <laughs> yeah. Katie does collect four Ks. So if you've got any four K suggestions for her, because she does like her family films, comment down below. That's the question. Of and the question of today is, who collects wrestling um, DVDs or films? If you do, what's the one item that you love in your collection? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And Lisa's trying to make me laugh behind the camera. Yeah, she's behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee up, Lisa. Hit the notification bell. Don't forget to post all our social media links. Uh, they are down below. Lisa, stop bobbing your head. I can see you behind the camera imitating me. Don't forget to give Katie a follow on her Instagram and TikTok, which is UK Retro Collector. I will put the link down below in case you can't find it. Or I will actually, instead of putting the link, I will pin it to the comments for you. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.